Make Joule Teeth. What is a Joule Teeth? Joule Teeth is self-oscillating voltage booster that is small, low cost and easy to build. Only four elements are needed and we gonna salvage from old CFL bulb. This Joule Teeth circuit will power LED with only one AA battery. Let's start. I'm gonna open this old CFL bulb and with pliers cut the wires to separate the electronic board from the plastic body. With soldering iron remove the transistor, the ferret ring and the little transformer. From transformer we gonna use the copper wire and we gonna need about 20 inches for two wires. Next is to make loops on ferret ring just like I show you now. You should get something like this. Now connect together the two opposite ends of wires like on the picture shown and this will be the positive input from battery. Take your soldering iron and solder the 1K resistor on transistor base. One of wires from ferret ring solder to the resistor and other wire from the ferret ring and positive wire from the LED solder them on the transistor collector. And the last is the negative wire from the LED and negative wire from battery solder them together to the transistor emitter. The schematic you can download at description below. If you have any question just write in the comments. I will answer. Now let's light up this Jultif circuit. Wow! It's working and the LED is very bright. Also I want to mention that this Jultif works also with dead batteries under 1.5 volts, which is great. My Jultif I glue it to AA battery holder that is also salvaged from old remote control.
First you will need insulated copper wire and if you don't have one you can find copper wire in old CFL light bulb like this one. Once you salvage the copper wire from CFL bulb on paper roll or any round object we are gonna wind 3 to 4 feet about 30 turns of wire to make the receiver coil. You can use tape but I am using another wire to tie the coil from uncoiling itself. With sandpaper or razor knife you will remove the thin layer of insulation on wire so we can easily solder the wires. The coil have two ends. On these ends we solder LED any color you want. The receiver coil is finished. Now you gonna start coiling the transmitter coil. 15 turns of same wire but this time double wire. When you finish the coil the wires from one side connect them together like I show you now. You can see the schematic is super simple and are needed basic skills to understand. To positive pole of battery both ends from transmitter coil are connected. From here one of coil ends is connected to the resistor and to base of transistor and other end of coil is connected to the collector of the transistor. On emitter is connected negative pole from battery. Take the transistor and place it so the flat side is facing up and the leads are facing down. The pinout is emitter, base, collector. The both of coils and circuit are finished now. I have made couple of coils in different shapes with different color LEDs and all work just fine. Even you can light them up under some objects. I place them all together and they still working at same time. I'm very surprised from simplicity of this circuit and how this circuit works with just one AA battery.